are young, you would think like, you know, LA, it's a good city to be a single guy in, right? Like you didn't want to go out and like play the single LA field. I could have, no, nah, uh, obviously I have a past, you know, uh, I've been that guy. Uh, I travel all around the world. I went to, I, I, I used to live in Norway, in Oslo, in New Caledonia, in no, uh, in uh, Italy, in uh, Austria. So I've been playing that and my my part of like party time and everything. But um, I, oh, everyone says that I'm a old soul and I always want a new what I wanted. And so um, I just really wanted to focus on my, my future and then and then start sharing and more like, you know, instead of like partying and oh, I spent thousand dollars last night in a nightclub with a bottle and then now I have a big headache or whatever. I'd rather like, you know, now, uh, experience and then travel with, you know, the person that I love, obviously Night Mary, and then just like create more things. So yes, obviously don't, you know, anyone in the world, if you ask, yeah, would you have, like to be a single in LA, yes, it could have been fun, yeah. But for how long and for you know for for what at the end of the day. So no, I had my part of fun before and and I knew what I wanted. So at first I, I think at first that, that that was a question for me. I'm like, but you're young, you came to LA, obviously everyone wants to party and then do these things. But so but she she ended up uh, you know I did everything that you know to make her feel comfortable that you know not I wasn't looking for any fun or, you know, to score over. And I just wanted to focus on my future and then been working like my ass off since then. And, you know, so. And you are an old soul. I mean, that's my first thing that I think of. I mean, you have heard that before in life. Like people have told yeah. you this. Yeah, everyone. Uh, yeah, pretty much everyone. They even make fun because they say I'm the youngest one in the group. Uh, I'm always the one like, you know, <laughs> for like the old group like singing like don't put the music too loud you know because of the neighbor i'm always trying to think you know so um but since since i'm super young i've always been you know hanging out with other people and and yeah that's always been my thing here so what was it about mary like you know people say like when you know you know like what was it about mary that, well, that, that you that's... didn't want to pursue this life and you were like no this is the one well that but that's the things you know like they say when you know you know but how do you know it? I don't know. You just know it. It's like almost, it, it, it's uh, It's hard to, to say it. I just feel, it's more a feeling after at the end of the day, it's like waiting. It's like having kids. Are you 100% sure? I don't know if you're 100% sure, but you know that something different, right? You, you, can't, you can't really explain it why. You just feel different about that person. And then, uh, and then Mary, since day one, since I jumped in her car, when she came to pick me up to, to go around to, the, to check out places, like the first day we met, I don't know, we had that connection. It was so like fluid and I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it went so well and I don't know, it went from there and then I wanted to see her more and then. What did you guys do on your first day? So what happened? <laughs> what? So, because when I came in there, I was working, but like a crazy, like crazy. Like I was working 12 to 14 hour a day for four months, one day off in four months. I mean, it was like insane. Wow. And so the first night, so I asked her out, right? So there was a Friday night and she, um, so she, uh, so I went to her place and then we're going to, uh, we're going out, right? And so um, as we go out, she said, oh, my friend actually going to uh, to a, a restaurant. If you want, we can meet with them. And then after we, we see, I'm like, okay, sure. So we went there. And then last minute, I didn't plan anything of that. Last minute, she said, oh, they want to go to a club. I'm like, all right, fine, let's go. So we go to the club, which is uh, at that point that we, we end up by kissing for the first time. And then about 30 minutes after I kissed her, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go. She looked at me like, what the hell is going on? Like, what, 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 what is wrong? And the thing was like, I didn't tell her, but I was actually working at 3 a.m. the next day. It was like 1.30. So I'm like, well, so basically I have 30 minutes to go. I'm probably going to sleep like 30 minutes. And she said, but you're crazy. Where did you go? I'm like, no, I really wanted to do that. But at that point, so we didn't do uh, much, much at all. We just went to dinner then with uh, her friend, which was Jason, Brett, and a couple other friends. And then went to the club for like about like 30, 45 minutes. And then I had to go because I was working. So, yeah. Did she say like, what does that mean? Like, what are you doing at 3 a.m.? Like, what job is this? No, no, no. Well, she knew I was working and she knew I was working a lot because... Um, 
well, she she knew because I talked to her like right away. Like I said, we had that connection, and I feel really comfortable. And even like, uh, well, we we start dating like a week after I came, so it was super fast. We already, uh, but um, but yeah, right away I talked to her because you know not everything was going well at all. You know, in my the business I was working for, and I was working so much and everything. She she knew about it. Like literally every time she was picking me up to go to see places, like to give me like five seconds, I was falling asleep like every day, every time, everywhere. Like it was like not even funny. Like, and so so she 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 knew about my things and she almost felt bad. She said, but you shouldn't have come out and everything. I said, no, I really, I really wanted to, but yeah, no, that was. Uh, well, at first she did. I didn't tell her. She knew I was working a lot. I didn't tell her I was working at three a.m. So she was like, "What is going on? Like, we just kiss, and then you just want to leave." And I'm like, "No, no, that's not true." How so, did you start modeling? Like, how did that start? Uh, it all started because uh, I got into. I always been like into fitness, but I, I really got into fitness when I was living in Australia. And then um, one of the photographers actually called me and said, like, you know, I would like to do a photo shoot with you and everything. I'm like, okay, fine, because I, I I always wanted to do it and I've got the chance, so I'm like, okay, why not? So I did that photo shoot, and from that photo shoot, um, someone uh, on Instagram reached out to me and he said, listen, I saw the picture. That looks incredible. But apparently, the this photographer um, uh, been known for like some time. He were uh, like he, um, he was editing the picture a little bit too much. So he said, "Listen, because he was a big, big photographer." So he said, "Listen, I would like I'm coming to Sydney. I would like to meet you, and then we'll see from that." I'm like, "Okay, fine." So he came and actually he said, "No, no, no, actually, like you're amazing." So we did a big photo shoot together. Actually, two, uh, two, uh, two in a row, and then from the from this photographer on his page. One of uh, the manager of Wilmina that was following him because he was working with them a lot at some point, uh, saw me and reached out to me. And so that's how I ended up by getting in contact with Wilmina. And then after I ended up by signing contract. So now I'm signed with Wilmina in LA and uh, in New York. And so, yeah, so far. What do you love best about modeling? Um, I don't I don't know. I just like uh, like to to be able to like you know you can. There's so many different things you can do like with clothes, with like different spots in studio in uh, like you uh, like. There's so many things that that can be so cool, and sometimes you don't even think about it. That I think like the result that you can get in picture and the expression on your face and everything. It, it's so it's so fun. I think there's so many good things that you can do about it. That uh, that's the cool part of it. Now, obviously, we are in LA. And there's a lot of concurrence. <laughs> there's a lot of competition everywhere. Everyone is a model here in LA. Like, I mean, it's just like uh-huh. almost, you know, so uh, yeah, there's a lot of competition. But, but um, I mean, it, uh, for me personally, it's been a little bit more slow this, this past uh, uh, couple of months. But uh, obviously, I've been so busy with other projects that, you know, I'm trying to switch back, which so far has been working well. But yeah. So all of this is going great. You're with Mary. What happens? Like, how does this conversation happen when Mary comes home? Like, does she come home one day and say, hey, today at work, our, our boss, Jason, who 